Okay, Devil went down to Georgia's study sections. Um, if you look on the sheet, the study sheet, um, section number one, I will teach it to you by rote here, the main theme to Devil went down to Georgia. I'll play it first. Basically, it's a gypsy melody. Um, um, it's kind of cool that Charlie Daniel, Daniels chose this scale. It's uh, the first part's made out of D harmonic minor. Um, so, on the chart, you'll see the uh, note names and finger numbers on the first lyric line, and on the second lyric line, you'll see Fiddler's Tab for those of you who don't know how to read. And some of you like to see me do it. I understand that. And some are visual learners. So, it's D, C sharp, D is the first three notes. D3, C sharp 2, D3. Then on the E string, open E and low 1, F natural. So let's try that. Again. That last F we just played is, is twice the length of the others. Another F, F, G. Again, now. F, G natural, so it's low one, low two from where it normally is. So not on your tape marks if you learned with tape marks when you're starting out. Beginning, go. Low one, low two, three. So you see all those are separated. Low one, you see that? Let's see here. Low two and three. Hopefully you can see that. Beginning, go. Low one. Good. It's another note that's twice as long there. And then from that point, it hits another A. It goes A3, B flat, low four. So right next to the three. Touching it. So. So all these fingerings are not normal fiddling fingerings. Usually uh, harmonic minor is reserved for gypsy music and jazz often. But uh, So it was a unique twist to have Charlie Daniels cast this type of scale in this uh, storyline. Ready? Beginning. Low one. Low four. From that point it goes down the scale from that last day. G low two. Two, F low one and E. Beginning, go. Low four, down the scale. Let's try that much again. Ready, go. Okay, let's do that again. Ready, go. Up there. The second measure is off of a C chord and it has notes that are completely from the C major scale. It aborts the D harmonic minor. So low 2 C, not high 2, regular 2, but low 2 and close to 1. That's C B A, low 2, regular 1, low 2. Remember, so in the earlier previous measure, 1 was lowered to F natural. In this measure, um, one is back to the normal positioning. So in the C measure, D, E. That E will be twice as long. So it's C, B, C, D, E. Let's try it from the very beginning, the D minor, so you don't forget that. Ready? Go. C now. that again. Beginning, go. C sharp, low one, low two, low four, C. Coming okay? The next notes are another E, low one F, low two G, just like E4. So from the C, 
E, E, F, G. Try just the C measure, go. Good, now that last note we played is not a long one. It goes G, A, G, F, E. So the whole C measure, long on E, and keep going. Try that again. C, B, C, D, E, E, F, G, A, G, F, E. Again. So, remember all, all of it so far? The two measures? Very beginning. D minor with the C sharp. Ready? Go. Low one. Low four. Now C. Regular one. Low one again. How's it coming? Let's try that whole bit again. The whole bit. Ready? Go. One. Again. C. Again. Okay, if you do that fast, you're on your way. The last note ends up on an up bow. The next note is just one note before we go on to the next thing. Open A. So, let's see. So let's take it those two notes further. So da 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 E with an up bow, and then stop the bow for a second, go to the A string, another up bow. So you land on a down bow on the first down beat in the next measure, on the first note in the next measure. It'll be much more natural if you end up on a down bow on a down beat in general. All right, let's see if we can add that. So coming out of the C, E, A. So let's see if we get to the first note of the third measure. Beginning, go. Got it? Again. Two, here we go. One more time. One, two, ready, go. You gotten that far, you're doing great. Now the next two measures are the descending pattern. It's not really too hard. It's it's definitely fiddleized. Um, it was made to fit on the fiddle the best we can. So it's D E D A. Charlie Daniels used open strings a lot. That's the first beat. The first four notes is written out in sixteenth notes. D, E, D, open A. Do that a few times. Got it? That's the first beat. The second beat is a similar musical passage. Low 2 C, D3, low 2 C, open A. Low 2, 3, low 2, A. Do it a bunch of times. Okay, you remember the first beat of that part? Then the second beat. Got the two together. Again. Now, of course, 
Those who are a little more classically trained and are used to using their pinky could do that E with the fourth finger. And that would be a very classical trained thing to do. I don't think that Charlie Daniels did that. He jams his wrist, his palm up into there and doesn't do much with his pinky, I believe. Um, and in fiddling music, the sound of the open strings is celebrated, not hidden like it is in classical music. So open is fine. Little whip of the bow, you're there. Ready? Go. Ready? Go. Those two beats, go. No big deal as long as you're in the middle of the bow and not uh, favoring one end or the other too much. So now how does it get back to there? Let's do the whole thing. Do you remember the beginning? Da 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 da, low one, da da da, low four, that gypsy part. Ready? Go. C. Slur A. And you notice I just did the fourth finger myself, not thinking, talking about it. Let's do all that again. One, two, ready, go. Up, up. Should have it that far. So coming out of the C. E. It might take some practice to come out of that first line to the second line. See. Up, up. Okay, if you get that far, you're ready for the third beat. Similar music pa musical passage again. B flat, low to C, B flat, and G on the D string. Try those four notes. Over and over. got to get to the D string for that one note, but if you're in the middle of the bow, it should be fairly balanced and easy to get there. Now this is the third beat of the second line. Let's try the whole three beats of the, of the second line. D, off the C, off the B flat. Those three beats, go. C, B flat. Again, go. C, B flat. Okay, ready for the fourth beat? The A. That's open A, B flat low one, back to open A, and F low two in the D string. Try that beat a number of times. Low one, low two. So let's add that to the four beats. So, because off of D, off of C, off of B flat, off of A. And by the way, it just so happens that the chords and the guitars and the pianos and stuff and the su overall song, underlying chords, are following these notes. When I said off of D, I meant D minor chord, C chord, B flat chord, and A. All right? So let's do that again. Second line, go. C. B flat, A. Next beat, G. Three G's, one A. G, A, G, G. Try that a bunch. Again. 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 I'm not going to beat this one as much because you need to practice it flowing into the next. Um, a. From the A goes down that D minor scale. So the G thing, and then A. Try that a bunch of times from the A. That's A, G, F low 2, E1 right next to it, and D. Right down the scale. Now those two beats together, the G one and the A one. Right down the D. 
try that again. Go. G. A. Again. A. Again. G. A. D. Again. G. A. Again. Do the whole second line, the whole descending passage. D, C, B flat, A, G, A, D. Those are the chords. Off of D, go. Off of C, B flat, A, G, A, D. Again, all that. C, B flat, A, It's okay to put little accents. I'm doing it just for practice and to show you where the pulses are. Um, it's going to go by so fast, it's not going to matter too much, but you can go zaki deka, zaki deka, taki deka, da. You can put accents there in performance as well. Second line again, go. Again, that. One more time, go. The last three notes, after you hit that D, it's an upstroke on A1 on the G string, stopping the bow, another C, which is third finger, and then open D. And it's a long whole note before the rapping start. That one down to Georgia. All right? So let's try that second line, the descending line, with the last three notes. Ready? Go. A, C. And that C is kind of syncopated, so coming off it. Kind of cool. Da, 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 feel it in your gut. that with me again. Ready? A. Mm. If you want to grunt to yourself, that's fine. At least feel it in your gut. Tense your muscles for that. Mm. Ready? Go. Mm. And. Mm. One more time. Go. Mm. Let's do that whole last measure from the G to the A and this syncopated thing with the last three notes, so. Uh. That, go, G, A, D, uh. D, again. my feet just like I do with fiddle tunes here on the site so it seems like you can start to get it in a danceable mood and feel when I tap my foot right left right left or left right whatever half time it's not really half time but it's either way it kind of gives it a longer wave to it it's not one two three hopping up and down it's one and a little sway and that's more dance like da dee da da dee da 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 dum 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 here we go now that Now that we're getting pretty good at those last three notes with the syncopation, let's try the whole last descending line. 
from D, C, B flat, A, G, A, D with it. Da, da, da. Kind of like, uh, uh, oh, uh, oh, because we know it's going to be trouble in the storyline. Fits the music perfectly. Fits the lyric perfectly. So, da, 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 da. Ready, go. to rush that last D. The D does not start until the downbeat of that measure. Down, boom. So don't go. It's not that syncopated. Dum, bum, bum, bum. All right. That line again. Ready? Go. For that once, we'll try this whole two lines as one pass. I think you're ready. So, then off to C. Remember all that? D, C sharp, D, and your fingers will follow you. You're developing a muscle memory for this tune as well as a mental memory and ear memory. Um, that is important. Your muscles have a memory. They'll remember how to ride a bicycle. They'll remember how to write with a pencil. They'll remember lots of things, and you can do it almost subconsciously because your muscles have a memory, and that part is part of your brain separate from other kind of memories. So we're developing muscle memory by doing this too. Beginning, ready, go. C. Up. Just a tad slower. If you taught me, I used the fourth finger again. Uh, beginning, two, three, go. I would suggest using less and less bow. Um, Charlie Daniels uses a lot of bow. He scrubs hard and breaks a lot of hairs as part of his show. And a lot of fiddlers do that. Um, it can get kind of expensive for rehairing your bows. I have a bow that I prefer. I keep using it. I don't tend to really beat on it too hard. Um, but hairs fly off some. You know, people who can afford it go through two or three bows in a show. It's kind of cool. It's part of the show, I guess. I'd love to be able to bust everything I got. It'd be horrifying. It'd be It'd be kind of neat as far as a publicity stunt, but we'll save that for the rock guitarist. Uh, anyways, uh, let's do this. Now that I give you a second for your subconscious mind to think about it while I blabbed. Ready? It's one of my ploys. One, two, beginning, go. tune you could play that much and probably satisfy somebody this is not a tune that most bands know to just throw it together and jam there's too many separate weird parts that you've got to know or you don't um but you could throw that line in somewhere and somebody go, at least it might satisfy a heckler um myself i've kind of forced all the bands i play in to learn this song because i get heckled for it eventually one way or the other 
So it's not just a simple three chord song. It's a lot of parts to fit together to fit a story. So a composition in that matter. Here we go, one more time. One, two, ready, go. Again, go, sorry. See what I did there at the last note? I double droned it. Open D with fourth finger D on the G string. If you can do that, it's a cool trick. To be able to do it, you gotta get your elbow way in and get your pinky up on its tip so it's not touching the, a, the D string. If it does, you might get all squams and squeaks, but... And start a little low with the fourth finger. It's a big part of fiddling. So... And during that little mm, I get my elbow in. Ah. And I slide it till it sounds right. Don't slide it too far. No, don't slide it not far enough because that's bad. You gotta slide it till it just sounds right. The whole thing one more time with the tricks. One, two, ready, go. And you are on your way. I know this is kind of long, um, but I hope it melded it into your brain because you're going to get heckled for this tune eventually. It's a good one to learn.